with so many mixed opinions from my last video about whether you'd have Frank Lampard or not, I'm still so unsure about who is going to be the manager. Choice. Hey, I'm not afraid anymore. I said I'm not afraid anymore. Do you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Stick around, Blue Nowsies. I'm going to get through your comments and I'm going to be reading another interesting article out as well. Let's get into it. What's going on, Blue Nowsies? It's me again, the boy in blue, back with another video. I hope you lot are all okay, doing okay. Um, yeah, so still. No news, it looks like, you know, they're taking the time. They want to get this appointment right. It has to be right. We can't have another season like last season. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And a <laughs> Yeah, because that was just an emotional roller coaster. My emotions were all over the place from excitement to feeling let down, disheartened, uh, angry. I don't want another season like that again. But um, but yeah, we're going to get into it. going to read your comments out as well in this video from my last video that I've done. Uh, 70 comments, just absolutely mind-blowing. And then um, I also have done a poll as well. So we're going to be reading out that about four potential managers that I've picked and your votes and how many of you voted. Uh, also, it's saying that 71% of you that have watched this content are not subscribed. So if you like what you see and you love the blues like I do, then please hit the subscribe button and show some support. It is completely free and it'll just notify you guys when I do another video. So I found an interesting article that I'm going to read out, guys, and um, see what you think. So the article is the next Birmingham manager. So it says, next Birmingham City manager. Newly fronted by the former Derby County and Sunderland men. Get rid of these pop ups. Uh, Birmingham City hunt for a new head coach continues into a third week since Tony Mowbray's official decision to step down. So, look, we're in the third week now. Blues are being meticulous with their search as they look to learn from mistakes attempted to avoid a repeat of the managerial merry go round of last season, which I just mentioned in my opinion as well, and I'm sure most of you watching this will agree as well. It was just, uh, yeah, seven managers, including the interim managers. It was just horrendous. Six different faces took to the dugout um, for Birmingham in, two, in 2023, 2024, despite the tremendous playoff iron start. Supporters were arrived when John Hughes was peculiarly sacked in October and Wayne Rooney's subsequent appointments. Then sent Blues down a bumpy path to relegation. Uh, Mowbray's arrival offered plenty of promise, which he did, you know. I always wanted him um, when he come anyway. I thought, thought he would have been brilliant and perfect for Blues now in League One as well. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Just hope he's getting better. But I'm going to show you this as well. Um, Birmingham must now move on after their painful relegation to League One with an immediate bounce back to the Championship with a clear target. An experienced manager is desired, but also one that can excite fans with attacking possession-based football. But they still want this possession-based football. Uh, I'm going to show you the odds as well. So, the latest favourites to become the next Birmingham manager with several head coaches linked. It's tricky to determine just who could be heading to St Andrews at Knighthead Park. Although there is no official markers for punters, one website has still created a list of favourites. Here's a run through. So Alex Neal, according to this, is leading the uh, leading the hell with a forty percent uh, probability. Frank Lampard, twenty five percent. Liam Rossini at twenty two percent. Gary Rowett, twenty two percent. Darren Ferguson, twenty percent. Paul Heckingbottom, eighteen percent. Ashley Cole, sixteen point seven percent. David Wagner, fourteen percent. Uh, Will Still. 13%, Michael Beale, 12%, Scott Parker, 9%, and Steve Bruce, 
six percent so that's what this website is saying according to some votes so yeah blue nose you'd love to hear your thoughts on that so get your comments in and uh also <clears throat> i'm going to share this screen with you because this was the poll that i put on last night um yeah so blue nose your last night was great on the blues football phone in just like last season which it was brilliant i love it when you guys phone in just want to thank you all for your support as always comments as always to the best club and fans in the world keep right on so interesting how many of you have different opinions on the next manager i love it i really do and i really do love it you know it's good that we all have different opinions and views it gives us things to talk about i always see this as a positive um so the question i asked you guys was out of these who would you prefer we'll read this out on the next video keep right on so option one was frank lampard with 29 percent Liam Rossini at 41%, Carlos Corbrandt 22%, and Alex Neal 8%. And how many votes was that? 400 votes. That is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, so according to this, on my channel and just through these four selection of players, Liam Rossini would be the favourite, uh, which again is really interesting. And then also, I'm going to go through your comments now from my uh, last video 70 comments i'm just absolutely blown away again uh yeah the support's phenomenal so we're gonna get into it let's get on and read your comments <laughs> So this was yesterday's video, um, and these are the comments that we're going to be reading. So user, I think Lampard would do a good job. He's young and he has a lot of contacts home and abroad and would give our young stars a chance to show how good they are. I'm sure those Blues fans have different views, but it's definitely worth a try. He has a lot to prove to the clubs he has managed in the past. Yeah, And um, talking to my dad about it, you know, and we had the same kind of, he won't be our first choice, but look, he has got a lot of contacts and stuff, so I don't know. Uh, Paulie Wheat, probably the only one to get Lampard is because no one else wanted him. Uh, iconic brands, if it's Lampard, then we get behind him and the team. I'd be surprised if he took a League One job at this stage of his career. Kizzy, great stuff again, man. I still like Dave Chandler. Not too hot on Lampard or Neil, but look. I would back them wherever happens, yeah. And that's the same as me. Whether I want a manager or not, you know, I'm still going to back him. Still love the Blues. Um, up until things start going pear-shaped after a good few games where they have had a chance to try and prove themselves. But, you know, I am going to get behind him and back him. I think Lampard uh, would be stuck with the same big player crap manager label. So he's obviously done well at Derby and OK at Chelsea at first. Let's hope they can get someone in soon. And we can start building a squad for promotion challenge. Paul, new manager at the Royal Blue, smash it. I don't know. Up the Blues. Spot with the Blues, love and manager. <laughs> Paul, do not want Lampard under any circumstances. Dave, I think Lamps would be great because no one have given him a real chance. Uh, we bring the youngsters through. Everyone goes. The same old managers who do the rounds. Uh, Tony Lampard would be the best appointment on current names listed. Let's hope. And the fans need to be fully united if Frank does become the next BCFC manager. Keep up the great podcast, which is very enjoyable listening to. Keep right on. Yeah. Cheers for that, Tony. Great comment, mate. And thank you very much for the uh, kind words, mate. Jay, I reckon Lampard should be given a shot. He believes in young players too. Charlie. Would prefer Neil as manager personally, but if he turns out to be Lampard, then fine. I will get behind whoever the manager might be. Whoever he is, we'll need to hit the ground running. We can't afford a bad start yet. Yeah, bang on, mate. Uh, Dean, definitely go for Lampard. Sam, any manager coming in will first need to see the players we already have. With players away till maybe July, that leaves little time to bring in new players. I would offer Gary Rowe uh, a one-year deal. 
with the club's option of a further one year. He already knows the players, the club, etc. and wouldn't be such a gamble. Uh, Langan, I have no idea why there is so much love for Rossini at. Showed last season that this team couldn't break down teams who just sit back and defend. People need to realise that will be happening to us every weekend. So I would be very concerned if he was to become our manager. Lampard is a risk, but he has a great connections, which could get us a few gems on loan. And his stints with Derby and Chelsea initially were very good. The safer options would be Neil or Hecking Bottom, but they can only take us up so far. I think the owners will want someone to grow with us as we get to the Premier League. Yeah, great comment, mate. Uh, Andy, what is Lampard's track record in the top two divisions as a manager? We need a young manager who has got teams promoted and competed with a limited budget. Young, hungry, knowledgeable and passionate. Scott Parker for me. Uh, David. Would be another case of big name over substance. Rooney Mark II. Uh, use that. Could the new manager Lampard, Birmingham City, take over in the summer? Birmingham City in January transfer window, Birmingham City. Ray, Rooney, Zola, Lampard, all of the same. Ex Prem players who expect their players to play like Prem players. We have a Championship or League One quality players at best, just my opinion, but better to go for a manager who has seen it and done it. At this level, give them an opportunity in the championship if they do get us up and then review it again. A manager's job is short lived and important to get it right, the right person for the right time. Of course, I'll support whatever decision the board make. We support Blues, nothing more. Stand for truth. The problem, uh, I think, with Lampard is if he's a slight bit of success with the spending power, he should, I believe, he will jump ship. Mid season to the largest club. Uh, Mark, I don't want Lampard, but I'm putting my trust in our club. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel as well. I've just got to just, <laughs> we've just got to trust them, haven't we? Um, Kizzy also, I don't think we'll go up first time. We have to build a team and get that winning mentality. That can take longer than one season. There are clubs down there that have already uh, have that winning formula. I'd be happy uh, with eight to third and a winning. Structure, then we can kick on and go for it. Reach out. Announcement before the end of play. Monday, I heard. Keep right on, Jay. Chris, maybe Carlos Corbrand still in the frame, but Leicester still looking for a manager. Uh, Crimson, I personally don't like the idea of bringing him in. We need to get out of League One, not fuck around. Why wait for him to become good? He's better than Rooney, yes. Got playoffs done well at Chelsea. In his first season, but at Everton, he didn't do that well. So it's a risk. I think we could uh, do better, to be fair. Just my fish. Lampard seems like Rooney Mark II. Uh, wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Swifty. Didn't see, he, uh, didn't see anything about him being spotted in Brum. Yeah. Um, I had a photo sent. Um, somebody spotted him in Birmingham. Uh, somebody who might... Dad's friend Steve knows. Um, Lampard, like Rooney, is really untested. And we know what happened to Rooney. Sometimes ex-football players do not make good managers. I think it will be a big gamble. But hey-ho, we need to employ someone fairly soon. Some commentators might say there's plenty of time to get a manager. But in two months, the season starts. Zola, Rooney and now Lampard. Don't you ever learn? <laughs> it's out of our hands. Uh, Richel, if we get Frank, what a fantastic coup by the club. Very exciting. Now, I know that you're all for uh, Frank Lampard, Rich. Paul, do they not learn from Rooney? Or at least the players will be able to understand him. <laughs> Sounds like they have found a cheap way of clearing the site already for building. Keep right on. Uh, only take Lampard with Morris. Only ever done well. With Morris beyond him. That was Rob. Darren, wow. Yes, please. Amazing appointment. Robbie. Jay, you say you don't really want Lampard. If you could make the decision, who would you go for? Keep right on. Well, I did reply to uh, Robbie, but I haven't got a clue, mate. 
I don't know. I just want someone who's going to be the right appointment that's going to do the job. Um, me, the wife, and the Wrexham FC podcast. I was going to ask your thoughts on this. I did reply as well. Uh, I don't know. Head toe, please. No, no. Did we not learn with Rooney and Zola? Lee Harvey, fingers crossed we get Lampard. Dusty Jane Way, uh, I'm loving your editing skills, Jay. Your videos are getting better and better. It's looking like the managerial job is going to be between Alex Neal and Frank Lampard. If it ends up being the latter, I just hope he's worlds apart from Wayne Rooney. We want, we wait with bated breath. Keep right on, up the blues, shit on the villa from Catherine. Yeah, I love your comments, Catherine, as always. Um, yeah, thank you for the kind words. And yeah, I just hope that it's not a Rooney uh, mark too. Like if he if he did get appointed, but um, we can only wait and see what set of our hands. Expletive, Lampard, no, no, and and no again. Have they learned nothing from the Wayne Rooney debacle? Go for a proper football manager, not some plastic icon. Uh, Eagleman Blues, Lampard has too many failing stints in management. Another that. Wanting big name player again, definitely not for me. All blues. Rooney was an example enough. To keep right on, John. If the owners have Lampard, then they're asking for trouble. Not a good manager. Use that. Uh, another tried and tested claim. <laughs> God help us. Uh, had a season in League One would be good for Frank. Easy mean. Um, Asa worse and GT. The names banded about. Non stand out. Lampard, definitely no. Neil, no. Rowett, definitely no. Bruce, 100% no. Carlos would be the best, but we have no chance failing that. I don't trust Gary Cook or Gardner, and I don't trust these Yanks owners. They have made us more of a laughing stock than ever. I don't trust them one bit. Keep your millions on TV screens. I want passion on a football pitch. No bullshit. Keep right on. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all your comments, guys. Great comments there, and uh, so many mixed views as always. Uh, I always see this as a good thing, you know, it gives us things to talk about. I never see it as a negative, I always see it as a positive. But yeah, blue nosies, yeah, just get your comments in, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. If you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe, it's completely free, and it'll just notify you guys when I do some more videos. So keep right on up the blues, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Keep right on.